This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. You know, this entire time, we've been working with what's referred to as an internal style sheet. And way back when I mentioned that we can have an internal style sheet or an external style sheet. And what I'd like to show you here now is how to export our internal style sheets. So in the real world, internal style sheets really aren't used uh, all that often, sometimes in very specific cases or unique cases. Maybe I have a loan page on my website that I want to control with different formatting than the rest of my website. The big difference between the two, just to kind of give you the quick down and dirty, just in case you're not up and up on your CSS, is an internal style sheet can only format the page that it's a part of versus an external style sheet which can control or format an unlimited number of pages. So as you can see, I might have a unique page, maybe an order form page on my website or something that I want to have look different from the other 50 or 60 pages that are a part of my regular website. So here what I want to show you how to do is take everything that we've been working on, body, master, all this stuff, our center boxes, all the rest of it, and pull them from our weblayout.html file and insert them into a .css file, an external file. It's actually really easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my CSS styles panel. I'm going to grab the first rule that I see at the top of the CSS styles panel. Don't grab style, grab the first rule. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, holding down shift, and I'll grab the last guy there. And then what I'll do is I will right click on this guy. And there's a handy command in here called move CSS rules. Go ahead and choose that guy. And then inside the dialog box that appears, we can either move the rules to an existing style sheet. If we have a style sheet that's already in play, or I can go and create a new style sheet file, which is exactly what I want to do here. So go ahead and choose a new style sheet and then click on OK. Now, you're presented with a save dialog box. We want to give this guy a name. Oftentimes, external CSS files are simply called styles or style sometimes or external styles or something like that. Usually, I just call mine styles. And it's going to wind up being called styles.css. You don't have to put the .css on the end here. And then go ahead and click on Save. And guess what? That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, it actually gets kind of funky. It gets kind of weird if you've never worked with this before. First of all, take a look at the Styles panel. I still see Style at the top, but now I also see styles.css. This is an outside file. If I twist them open, I see all of my CSS rules, which is kind of weird. Now, if I go to my files panel for a second, and you might have to refresh your files panel, you should now see an extra file there as well, styles.css. OK, so we now have this extra file inside our site folder. Inside the CSS styles panel, I can work with my styles or my rules exactly as I did before, but there's an extra catch. There's an extra bit that you have to be careful of, and that relates to saving your files. So I'm going to give you kind of a quick, simple example of how this works. I'm going to grab my body rule, and rather than having the background color set to that really light gray, I'm going to make a very obvious change. I'm going to change his background color to red so that we know that it changes. And I can see that change inside Dreamweaver. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my file, Controller Command S. I'll flip back over to my browser and refresh. And whoa, I just lost all my formatting. Now everything's broken again. No, we worked so hard on everything and now everything's broken. What happened? Well, let me show you what's up. I'm going to flip back over to my page here for a moment. I saved my HTML page but I didn't save my styles.css page. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Rather than working on one file now, we're working on two files. So we have to make sure that we save everything. Notice at the top left corner of my interface window, I have the document tab, weblayout.html. Below that, I see source code now, and I see styles.css, 
with an asterisk. The asterisk indicates that I've made a change to this file and I haven't saved it yet. So I can save all of my files all in one shot if I want from the file menu by heading to file and then down to save all. In other words, save all of the files that are currently open inside Dreamweaver. Go ahead and do that. And then I'll flip over to my browser and refresh and whew, everything's back. <laughs> okay. So we have our layout back and whoa, there's that crazy red vibrant background color. So we know that it's functioning. So it's a little bit confusing to work with at first. If you've worked with external style sheets in the past, this should be no big deal for you. It should be really easy. The only catch is I have to make sure to save everything before I flip over to my browser. Let me give you another quick example. I've gone and changed that body background color. I don't like that background color. I want to go back to the gray that I had. So check this out. I'm going to go and open styles.css just by clicking on them here. There he is there, open inside the left-hand pane, if you will, of my Dreamweaver interface. I'm going to undo Controller command z And if I scroll back up here, we should have, there's that light gray background color now, back to where we started. I'm going to go File, not Save, but Save All. I want to make sure that everything's saved. Back over to my browser, refresh, and there we go. Everything's back. So when you're working with your external style sheets, it is a little bit weird. I can click on this guy here and I get this split mode, style sheet on one half, design view on the other half. I can go back to my full design view by clicking on design there if I want, or I could go back to this split view, or I could go back to the HTML source code over on the left-hand side if I want. It's a little bizarre. Or what you can do if you want, is you can right click on style.css and say open as a separate file. Now I have two document tabs. And I have to admit, this is sort of my preferred method of working, having the two document tabs. That's myself though. So there you go, there's how to export your CSS rules from an internal style sheet to an external style sheet, and also how to edit rules inside an external style sheet and make sure that everything is saved up before you preview your work in your browser.